Hey guys, welcome to the ring interviews with Tab Diesel. Today we have Edder Latanzio from the Ottawa Red Blacks. Uh, he's a defensive lineman. Uh, he took his time today to come and have an interview with us, so we get to know a little bit about him and about the team. So thank you for coming to the interview. Well, thanks for Appreciate it, man. No problem. So I want to start off by you know asking you just like a brief history of like how you got to the CFL. Uh, well, I started playing football when I was 12 uh, for the European Redskins. Played throughout high school. Uh, got involved with uh, varsity football uh, with the Myers Riders, and then from there I went to play uh, university football at Ottawa U where I was then drafted uh, by the CFL to play uh, at Winnipeg um, this year. And then uh, I was released by Winnipeg and ended up uh, back at home playing for the Red Blacks. So yeah, it's kind of come full circle. If you were make to, if you had to make a different uh, decision or make any changes uh, throughout your career, what would you do differently? Well, if I, um, if I had the opportunity to go back and do things differently, probably would have tried to maybe change my position earlier, um, just because I'm undersized in my uh, in my particular position at this moment. Uh, maybe it would have been better suited to play linebacker or something else. But uh, you know, everything happens for a reason, and it's worked out for me thus far. So I can't really complain. Really. Okay, as a defensive lineman, I mean, you're gonna get to tackle a lot of people. You know, the fans are really excited about that kind of thing. When you tackle somebody, when you hit someone. How do you feel emotionally? Do you feel bad? Are you happy? How does oh, that make you feel? If you're happy, you're excited. <laughs> I mean, everyone signs up to, to play this game, so we all know uh, what we're in for. You know, if you have the ball, someone's going to come and hit you, and if you don't have the ball, then you're going to go and hit somebody, you know, and that's the name of the game. So you never really want to hurt anyone. You know, we're all in this together. You know, you're making a living at it, so you're not trying to, you know, permanently injure somebody but you want to hit someone to make sure they feel it you know it's basically try to break their will when you hit them you know? what are your strengths and weaknesses within your position we, un we know that the whole undersized is an issue yeah. right being 5'11 you know mm -hmm. rather being a 6'2 would help out a lot better yeah, sure so your strengths and weaknesses I'd say you know uh, we'll start with uh, weaknesses obviously is the size uh, mainly the weight uh, aspect of it um, you know you need to be a little heavier so you can you know stand your ground against the behemoth offensive lineman um but i'd say a strength would be that because of my height i have leverage on a lot of these taller guys so i'm able to to you know hold my ground even though i lack the substantial size to do so um so you know, there's pros and cons to to being my size in that position now during practice you know you're competitive with other opponents are you ever competitive with your teammates? Oh, for sure you are. Um, you know, we have a couple scuffles from time to time. Uh, guys, you know, we're always competing. It's kind of just the way it is. Yeah. I'm always like, a, I have a high motor and I'm like, a, you know, a one speed kind of guy. So, you know, I have to learn to try and tone it down sometimes because sometimes, it, you know, if we're not going as hard. I might, I need to learn to not go as hard, you know, and yeah. Um, but definitely, it, it, it's the whole year you're competing, you know, because everyone's trying to get a spot, you know, and be able to play, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, last season, you know, we didn't do so great down the Red Blacks. You weren't playing <coughs> no, that year, no, obviously. No. Um, what would you say improve? What were the, the, the major improvements from last year to this year? What did you guys do differently to have a better record? Well, I mean, like you said, I wasn't on the team last year, so, but, you know, from my experience watching the team last year, uh, and seeing the losses that they had, the games were very close. Um, and so I think the difference this year is, you know, the management made decisions, uh, the coach and staff made decisions to bring in the right people um, that basically allowed us as a team to, to close out games, you know. Um, we've had a lot of close games, a lot of tight games that we were able to finish, you know, where last year we weren't quite there yet, you know. Um, so that I would say is the difference. We've been able to finish, you know. Yeah. So that would be your biggest obstacle, you would say, for that. Yeah. I mean, you have to like the CFL is so tight. You know, the, the, every team is so close that you know it's it, it's very not every everyone's so close in the rankings. I guess you could say, or and, and, and in abilities that. You know, yeah, there's a couple of teams that might stand out a little bit, but for the most part, we're all kind of in the same pot. So you have these games that, you know, are 
29 to 27 or whatever. Um, and learning how to win those games, that's that's very crucial, you know. And also um, learning how to win on the road is a big part. You know, we, we won a couple games on the road, which was very big for us. Uh, we also lost a couple of big games on the road. So part of being a great team is learning how to, to win on the road outside of your home, just home field advantage, you're not always going to get it. Um, and also, um, special teams is a great thing too. Yeah. We, we definitely have got to work on special teams. It's, uh, it's definitely something that we're working on. So, all facets of the game. Okay, I hear you. All right, so the all right, so your fans would like to know, um, if you had to play any other position, what position would you play? Um, it's hard to say, really. Um, I, I feel like if I had to play any other position, I'd still like to stay on defense, so maybe I'd like to try maybe linebacker. Um, I'd have to lose a little bit of weight. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd like to try that out maybe if I had to. I probably would have liked to have done that transition when I was younger. You know, making it now at the pro level is a lot difficult, more difficult, you know. But uh, I think I could pull it off, I'm sure. Yeah. When you first got drafted, there must have been like a surge of excitement. How did you, when you finally got drafted, what went through your mind? When I first got drafted, I was, it was a sense of relief. Like, oh, finally, it's over. Like, I know where I'm going to be. Um, and then when I got got the call and I was talking to, to uh, you know, the, the GM, and they said, yeah, we're going to move you to fullback. And I was like, all right, well, sure. never played offense in my life, but I'll give it a shot, you know. It was a little bit of... You're a little excited. You're excited. You're nervous because you're not sure. Like, am I going to be able to make the switch? Mm. Um, there's just a lot of emotions at once. You know, I'm leaving. I'm going to be in a new city for the first time ever. Leaving my family and friends and girlfriend and everything. So it was a lot of emotions. Yeah. You know, and that didn't last long at all. No, it was a month, about a month and a half, I think. Yeah. Um, tried the new position out. They ended up putting me back in my old position. Just doing all right there for the most part. Um, and ended up putting me on practice roster and they sent me back home a week after the first week and a week later I was picked up by Ottawa, so, you know, okay. worked out. Okay, so what does Anthony Latanzio do for fun? For fun? Um, I, I, I'm a laid-back guy, I like to play my PS4 and just chill, Yeah. you know, catch a movie from time to time. You're you know. a Call of Duty kind of guy, aren't you? Destiny. Destiny. More of a Destiny kind of guy, you know, uh, FIFA, it's got that 16, so I'm playing that now. Um, Show with my girlfriend, you know, my family, and hang out with the guys from time to time. You know, just lay back, man. Before we end, would you like to give any shout outs to your players, to your family out there? As far as uh, give a shout out to our nation, um, and uh, shout out to my family. I'd like to shout out to myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be trying out for the Red Blacks in 2016. I'm going to come hard with it. Putting on all that weight, look at it. those buttons are about to burst off. They're about to burst off. McDonald's, Happy Meal. Our nation, you better get ready for them. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, thank you for doing this interview. No really problem. appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me, buddy. No problem.